Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to demonstrate the steps you can use to create a bunch of mailing labels from an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so I've got a spreadsheet already with a bunch of fake addresses on here. And if you look in the video description, you can find this particular spreadsheet. And these aren't real people, they're just a combination of common names, uh, street addresses, city, states, and zip codes. So if you already have a bunch of addresses, you can create mailing labels pretty easily using Mail Merge and Word. So here's my spreadsheet, and it's already saved. Everything's in a pretty good format. All of my columns have uh, column headers up at the top. There's no empty rows, no empty columns. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just minimize it. Could close it, and let me open up Microsoft Word. Now you're going to start with a new document and head right over into the mailings ribbon, start mail merge, labels. That's going to open up another dialog box. And for this one, I'm going to choose the Avery style labels, 5160 easy peel address. Now, whenever you buy labels online or at an office supply store or something like that, the box will indicate the code number that represents that particular style of labels. So you want to make sure you match up your label plan or pattern with whatever the kind of labels you have. I'm going to go for 5160. It's a pretty common one, 30 labels per sheet. I'll click OK. And Microsoft Word, you can't really tell, but it's constructed a table pattern that'll fit with these labels. If I click on this little table selector button and I turn on my borders, you'll really notice that that's just a table in action. I'll leave those borders on for now, but I want to turn them off before I print. Now I'm heading back over to Mailings. I'm going to select Recipients, use an existing list, and I'm going to go find my spreadsheet. I saved it over to my desktop, and there it is, my fake addresses. There's only one sheet on this spreadsheet, so I just choose that one. And I'm going to construct my labels working in this top left cell. So I'm going to head over to Insert Merge Field, and I've got all of these choices for first, last, address, city, state, and zip. These are the, the exact fields that are above all of my columns. So this makes it pretty easy. Insert Merge Field, first name, space, last name, enter, address, enter, city, comma, space, state, space, zip code. Now that I've got this constructed in my first label, I can select this and I can do different styling. In fact, since this is a table, I'll use my table tools layout and I can center this text. I can head home and I can make the font a little bit bigger. I can make the person's name bold and a little bit larger than that. If I wanted to, I could even have a small uh, icon over here or even some kind of color or a little image, something like that to go along with it, especially if I'm using this for the holidays. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with my template. Now, before I proceed on the mailings, I'm going to choose the option to update labels. And that's going to update all of my other label templates to match that first one I've been customizing. If I want to, I can click Preview Results and get a feel for how this is going to look. Now, when I do Preview Results, it's only going to show me one page. So you're not completely done yet, but we're really close. If I'm satisfied with how that's looking, then I'm going to make sure my borders are all gone. So I'm going to select my table, choose No Borders. And now, back on the mailings, this is the important step. Finish and Merge. Do not go right to printing your documents. Always test it first. I'm going to go to Edit Individual Documents. I'll choose All. And Word is going to create a new document for me that is actually all of my labels. If I zoom out, you'll really see that I've got a bunch of labels now. So what I would do at this point is I would print maybe a couple of pages just on regular plain paper. And I would hold that up to my label sheet to make sure everything is lining up nice because the label sheets are more expensive than regular sheets. If everything lines up well, then I would put in my label sheets and then I would do a real print. Otherwise, I'd have to do a little bit of adjusting. Um, maybe you have to make the cells a little bit bigger. Maybe you have to adjust the margins a little bit. But hopefully, it'll come out nice and neat based on the label code that you've put in. Now, you have a couple options for saving, too. This is a big document here because I had almost 900 labels. I could save this 
And then, especially if I knew that my addresses weren't going to change or if I was going to reuse them recently, I could just save this document and reprint these labels at a later date. Or what can commonly happen is in a place of business, you might produce the labels and then send this document over to a printing company or something like that so that they can produce, a, produce the labels or to somebody else. So you could save this one. Now, if I thought my addresses might change, but I wanted to save the format, then maybe in addition to, or instead of saving this one, I would save my label template. So this would be a separate Word document. I would save this one, and then later on, as I changed or updated addresses on my spreadsheet, I could simply rerun, you know, refinish and merge based on this template and I would have updated addresses. So a couple things to save there, but ultimately my goal is to produce a nice, neat, multiple sheets of labels that I can print out and start to use. Take care.